The split text feature is one of those hidden ones that some people just even miss seeing it. And you could do the same thing by creating a fancy formula, but this makes it super simple and easy to fix an error. So let's say you collected names in a Google form, but you forgot to have people separate their first and last name. So let's go ahead and highlight these names. We're gonna copy them. Then we're gonna come to a new column. We're gonna paste them. Notice as soon as we paste them, a little clipboard comes up down here. Let's click on the little drop down carrot and notice that we have some options to paste values only, paste format, or this one right here, split text to columns. So we're gonna click on this and then we're gonna choose from the drop down list here, a space, because we want to separate the first and the last name from each other. And now that's how easy it was to split those two things up. Let's look at another option. Sometimes when you download data, it puts the names all together. And sometimes you'll notice on a few of these, it included their middle initial. So let's go ahead and copy all these again. We'll use the shortcut Control C, Control V to paste it, get this little clipboard. And when I do the split text to columns, I use the space option again. Notice what happens is now I have some that have the middle initial on this line here. So a way I'm going to fix that is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to sort this sheet by this last column. And you'll notice now it brought all of these to the top. And I'm not concerned with the middle initials. So I'm going to copy these names and just paste them right on top of this. So that's just a little trick of how you can fix sometimes some of those little issues that you see. And now for some reason, if you do copy and when you go to paste, you click off and that little clipboard's gone. You just need to copy your content again, paste it right over the top of it again, and then your clipboard shows up. So that's just a little quick trick on how you can separate different content. Remember, you do have the different options. You can detect automatically, and then Google does what it thinks you want. And I don't find that that one always works best for me. So remember, you do have other options in here of a comma, semicolon, and you can even click custom and type in your own separator. Perhaps it's a period or maybe it's like a certain specific letter. So you do have those options as well.